Is this thing on? Oh, there you are. Welcome to the Moochie Kalala Detectives Club. That's my grandpa. He tells us crazy stories. He actually believes that his stories are true. Oh, that's what the story says. We're not so sure. So, with Moochie Cam in hand, we go discover the truth behind grandpa's stories. My mom is a doctor, so it's our dad who gets to pilot us on our journeys into discovering the truth. This is my little bro, Kyle. He's my detective, sidekick. I'm Mandy, the lead investigator. So those are our discoveries for our journey to investigating Grandpa's stories. With every new story comes a new adventure for the Moochie Kalala Detectives Club. In this episode, Grandpa introduces us to Muchi Kalala as she takes on the space dragon of Mars. To get the real facts on Mars, we'll head down to the Adler Planetarium and meet planetary scientist Mark Hammergren. With a tool like this rover, you can tell without a doubt that there used to be water on Mars. How? By looking at the rocks. There are little bits of rock in these big rocks that we know had to have formed underwater. There was maybe even oceans of water on Mars. In this episode, Kyle gets scared of tornadoes. Yeah, it's true, I get scared. So Grandpa decided to tell us a story about how tornadoes were made to make <gasps> me feel better. To get the real facts on tornadoes, We'll head down to the Museum of Science and Industry and meet physicist Olivia Castellini. Now our bodies are acting like buildings right now. When tornadoes in nature, they really depend on what's going on on the ground. So when there's a lot of buildings, they have trouble forming. So that's why you don't see tornadoes in the city very often. In this episode, Grandpa tells us a story of how Mujikawa was arrogant in thinking she was faster, stronger, and smarter than apes. There's no way that a gorilla and a chimpanzee could beat a human in a memory game. So, to get the real facts on apes, we'll head down to the Lincoln Park Zoo and meet primatologist Steve Ross. A primatologist studies apes, and Steve Ross is just apes about apes. Let's take a look and see what Azizi is doing. You see how he's pressing those buttons, putting those numbers and symbols in order? We're all very different, of course, but indeed, apes are very, very smart. And in fact, experiments have shown that chimpanzees can be even better than humans in some particular tasks. In this episode, Grandpa tells us a story about Muchi Koala, whose pranks were toe-to-toe -to -toe with a T-Rex. To get the real facts, we'll head down to the Field Museum and meet paleontologist Bill Simpson. He dusts T-Rexes. Okay guys, this is Sue. Sue is the largest T-Rex known. If you go by volume, she's about 90% complete. So visually, she's almost all there. Tyrannosaurus rex, rex means king, Tyrannosaurus means tyrant lizard or reptile, so she's king of the tyrant lizards. T-Rexes are cool! Yeah! In this episode, Grandpa tells a story about the magic blocks of creation. And how Mucha Koala, the great architect, used them to create the Roby House. Yeah! To get the real facts in architecture, we'll head down to the Roby House and meet famous architect Frank Lloyd Wright. Actually, we'll meet the historical architect. Roy Cedar, but he'll tell us all about Frank Lloyd Wright and the Roby House. Mr. Yeeter just loves shapes. Look around, detectives, what do you see? Rectangles and squares. Yes, Mr. Wright was a master at using rectangles and squares. <coughs> Triangles. <coughs> Rhombuses. <coughs> and all the shapes make architecture come alive. This episode, Grandpa tells us a story about singing whale. My name is Roberta, but you can call me Bertie. I have downloaded all of your songs. To get the real facts from belugas, 
we'll head down to the Shedd Aquarium and meet animal trainer Elizabeth Davis. Do you guys want to go take a closer look? Yeah. She scratches whales' tongues. By having their blowhole, that's like their nose, on the top of their head, they don't really have to get their whole head out of the water. So if they're swimming fast or for a long time, they just barely get their head to the surface so they can swim along and take a quick breath and not miss a beat. And thanks for being part of the Moochie Kalala Detectives Club. No problem! Saturdays at 7 a.m. and Sundays at 11 a.m. WTTW Chicago Channel 11.